Hey guys, Sean here from VisibleDark.ca. Welcome to another video. In this video, we are in the doghouse. Uh, in the doghouse with Dr. Ron Astrodog Breacher and his Esprit 150 and his Takahashi 106, which is running a QHY 367C. That's on the Takahashi. That is right here. And the Esprit 150 is running the QHY 16200A CCD. Okay, folks, uh, today we are going to discuss the Optolong L Enhance filter. This filter is a two inch narrow band filter for one shot color cameras or DSLRs. The filter is designed to shoot emission nebulas and supernova remnant uh, using a one shot color camera. Ron has been using this filter for about a month now, and he's uh, taken a couple images with it, uh, working on a third one, I believe, but he's definitely got two images that he's taken with it. Uh, we're gonna have a look at those images. We are gonna talk to Ron about his use of the L-Enhance filter, what he thinks of it, and uh, how it's been working for him. Okay, go. So I got, I got this um, Optolong L-Enhance filter at the same time as I got um, a, a one-shot color camera from QHY. So the camera is a QHY 367C, 36 megapixel full frame sensor. And I put the uh, L-Enhance filter on it right away. Uh, the first thing I shot was the Veil Nebula. And with this camera on the Takahashi, I have a huge field that was big enough to capture that very large object. I actually shot the Veil Nebula in two nights and they were the two nights before full moon. Still got a very good result. So immediately was impressed. Since then, uh, I've now shot a couple of other things, the North America Nebula, uh, IC1396 in Cepheus with the elephant's trunk. They've all come out really nicely. I'm working on a couple of others, and uh, I'm looking forward to trying this uh, filter on uh, perhaps on the other telescope at some point in the future. I might move that camera onto the uh, larger Esprit. But uh, in the meantime, it's producing great results on these very large nebula fields, and uh, the veil, of course, is a supernova remnant. Okay, so can you uh, tell the viewers about the specific uh, bandwidths. bandwidths that the filter yeah. uses and, and yeah. any other uh, features of that filter? Sure. Because this is a narrow band filter, it's very uh, selective about what wavelengths of light it allows to pass. And in fact, it blocks all wavelengths of light with the exception of those specific colors that are emitted by hydrogen, both hydrogen alpha and hydrogen beta, as well as the two oxygen lines that are in the green blue that give uh, supernova remnants that lovely teal sort of color. So that's what it allows to pass. And by blocking everything else, it also blocks light pollution. So it works as a light pollution filter too. I think that's uh, one of the reasons why I was able to get such a nice result even under a bright moon. Now, because it is only allowing a few narrow bands of light through, and because stars emit colors all across the spectrum, don't expect to get natural star colors with this filter. The star colors, uh, they tend to look kind of white uh, within nebulas, and outside of nebulas they tend to have sort of a reddish tinge. That's okay. We're really wanting to see the nebulas there. It's just, uh, it's gonna be very difficult to get natural star colors with a narrow band filter. Now, one thing you could try, and I'm probably going to try, is I'll swap this filter out for a broadband filter, either a UVIR filter or the Optolong L Pro, which is a light pollution filter, uh, but a broadband light pollution filter. And then I can take the natural star colors that I get with the broadband filter and blend them with the beautiful results that I get with the L Enhance filter. Okay. Can you also um, talk about, since we touched on the L Pro, the difference between the L Pro more specifically, um, the difference between the L Pro and the L Enhance? I would also like to touch on whether or not you've had any experience with other filters that are similar yeah, yeah. And, and what the difference might be between those like the triad quad band which you're familiar with you haven't used it but you're familiar with it stuff like that what's the difference between these similar filters results but this is similar much less, expensive. much less expensive stuff like that whatever it is that you want to say now the 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 l enhance is a is a dual band though compared to a quad band so but, i know i know yeah, i'm just know. saying I'll, I'll, just I'll, to be fair i will be fair 
So there's a lot of choices of filters out there for one-shot color cameras. Uh, some are broadband, some are narrowband, and so on. Uh, there's light pollution filters that can be broadband or narrowband. So if you're trying to choose between those, the the narrowband filter is really letting through just the emissions of hydrogen and oxygen. That's going to give you the best resolution of your object, but also potentially the least natural looking color. Now, right around the same time that the Ellen Hance was launched, uh, another company came out with a quad band filter. I think it's called a triad. I haven't used it myself, but I have had a chance to process data from a good astrophotographer that uh, shot the same object that I was shooting with the Ellen Hance filter. And uh, I would say overall they gave similar results, but you know, based on the time and the F ratio and so on, they gave similar results, the same sorts of challenges with processing. The L Enhance filter is much less expensive, but of course it's a dual band filter. The triad advertises itself as a quad band filter. The L Enhance filter, uh, with regards to light pollution, uh, a lot of uh, uh, cities and a lot of towns have converted or are converting to LED street lights and uh, LED lights in general for home use, exterior use. Um, how does the L Enhance filter work within that scenario for people? Well, the L Enhance filter is going to block some of the LED, but LEDs are a broad spectrum light, so they emit at every wavelength or most wavelengths. So what the L Enhance blocks isn't going to get through, whether it's from an LED or any other source. And of course your narrow bands from hydrogen and oxygen are still going to get through. And if you're in a light polluted area, this can be a lifesaver with a one-shot color camera. Okay, so that was a good little chat with uh, Dr. Ron there to get an idea of uh, what the L Enhance filter from Optolong is all about. Um, he's getting some fantastic results. Have you been getting fantastic results? Do you use this filter currently? If you do, um, leave a comment below. Let me know um, how it's working for you. If you're thinking about getting one, fantastic. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Clear skies, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.